and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code Channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of Lead Code and Geeks for Geeks within less than 5 minutes so that you can save your time as well as improve your problem solving skills. Okay, so today's problem of the day is smallest window containing 0, 1, and 2, which is an easy problem. And uh, I also think the same, but it's a bit tricky problem if you want to achieve big O of n time complexity and big O of 1 space complexity. Okay. So in that case, it will become a bit tricky and uh, a very fantastic problem as well. So now let's see what is there in the problem. Okay. So I think it's self-explanatory smallest window containing 0, 1 and 2. So I have to return the smallest length of substring, which has all 0, 1 and 2. Okay. And if there's any string in which either 0, either 1 or either 2 is not present. So in that case, I will return minus 1. Okay. I think the problem is clear. Problem is clear. So here, if you will see 0, 1, 2, so output will be 3. Okay. Output will be 3. Why? Because uh, yeah, the smallest substring with having all the 3, 0, 1, and 2 is this string whose length is 3. Okay. So I think the problem statement is clear. Let's jump to the approach and see how are we going to solve this. So I have written something for you. Okay. Okay, all right. So it's smallest window containing 0, 1, and 2. So what is the approach I'm going to do? Uh, use it here. Okay. So first of all, I will be having three variables. Take three variables. Uh, let's say which will be having the zero index first variable will be updating the zero index second variable will be updating the one index and third variable will be updating the two index okay now i will be iterating the whole array one by one it's array or a string i think it's a string okay so i will be iterating it all through one two three so now suppose at this point i got one so i will update the one index so now my one index will become what my one index will become zero after that i got zero so now my zero index will become what one because we are going like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in that way index. Okay, so 1. Now again I got 0. So my one zero index will again update to 2 index. Okay, now again I got 1. So my 1 index will be what? what? 0, 1, 2, 3. Again 1. Okay, so now it will be 4. Okay, now I got 2. So when I got 2, I will update my 2 index to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, fine. So now I see that my zero index one, two, all are having some integer. It's or not minus one, which means I have got all these three. So I will update my answer. So now currently my answer will be let's say integer dot max value. So now what I will do? I am at fifth index, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm at five index. I will do what? I plus one minus the minimum of these three. I plus one. This is my I. Okay i plus 1 minus a minimum of uh, this is 2 so my current answer is what 5 plus 1 6 minus 2 4 okay so i will update my answer to 4 in this way i hope it's clear so at this point my answer is 4 okay now again i got 0 so when i got 0 my 0 index i will update my 0 index to i that is 6 at this point okay so now again i will update my answer so answer will be what i plus 1 minus k minimum of all these three uh, minimum of all these three means minimum of six four and five okay so minimum of six four and five is what four so what will be our new answer or new calculated length will be what i that is zero one two three four five six six plus one and minus k four okay so my new answer my new uh, calculated length is three so which is less than my current answer so 4 is greater than my current answer, that is 3. So I will update my answer to 3. So now my 4 is greater, now my current answer is 3. Okay, in this way, I will be updating my answer uh, regularly. So I think now the approach will be clear to everyone. And if you, have, uh, if you have got the approach, so please don't forget to subscribe the channel because it really motivates me a lot. Okay, so that's what I have written here as well. At any point, if all three variables have some value, calculate the length of that and update answer accordingly. Okay, and we will keep on doing this till end. Okay, so I think the approach will be clear. Let's jump to the code section and write the code for it okay okay so first of all we will initialize the variables so let's write int 0 equal to minus 1 after that 1 equal to minus 1 as i've already told this will be having the latest index of all these things okay and 2 equal to uh, minus 1 as well okay and after that my answer will be integer dot max value okay all right so now let's run the loop for int i equal to 0 i is less than s dot length i plus plus okay and after that if s dot caret i equal to 0 i'm gonna do something else if 
Uh, let's copy this only. Else, okay. So zero, one. If it is zero, I'm going to update my zero index equal to i. If it is one, I'm going to update my one index equal to i. And otherwise, it will be two only. So I'm going to update my two equal to i. Okay. And after that, I'm going to check if zero not equal to minus one and then one not equal to minus one and then two not equal to minus one. I think till this point, everyone of you is understanding and is with me in this problem. Okay. So let's do some uh, cleaning code as well. And now I'm going to update my answer. Okay. So answer is what? As I already told, answer is what? Mad.min of my previous answer. Okay. And now it will be what? I plus one minus k mad.min of all these three. So mad.min of zero comma mad dot min of one comma two okay in this way and uh, i think that is it so uh, after coming here i will check if my answer not equal to integer dot max value if until answer is equal to integer dot max value so i will return minus one okay otherwise i am going to return my answer all right, let's try to compile this. I haven't solved this problem for a long time as well. So let's see whether it's running or not. No, it's not running. Okay. Int cannot be dereferenced. Oh, sorry. It's one comma two. It's one comma two here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to submit it again. Come on. Three, three. Yeah, let's try to submit it. All right. If you have learned the if you have loved the solution, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the channel because it will motivate me a lot. All right, it's running. It was a fantastic, easy, come medium. I'd say it it was a between easy and medium problem. Okay. So all right, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the session and and I am gonna see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.